Hey guys, it's Paige. Welcome back to my channel. I am in Greenwich today with one of my good friends. Samantha, Hi. you guys know Sam by now. You know you me. guys know you Sam. Know me. Uh, we met up because I was in the neighborhood for um, a meeting, and now we're just together. We're gonna actually explore a little bit. We're about to go into the Greenwich Tunnel, which I found on Instagram. I didn't even know it existed. <laughs> Did you even know this existed? I knew that this existed, but yeah. I didn't know what. Yeah, that she's, she's existed. seen the interest before, but. Neither of us, well I've seen this too, but neither of us knew that you could go inside of a tunnel. So we're gonna go check that out and try to take some photos in there. Um, and then we're gonna do something pretty interesting. A lot of you guys, <laughs> a lot of you guys have requested that I try, you know, different British, traditional British foods, right? So today, we're doing pie and mash. That's what it's called, right? Pie and mash. Pie and mash. <laughs> today we are doing pie and mash, so. Um, yeah, just hang out with us today, guys, as we explore. Okay, guys, so apparently we enter the tunnel through this thing that we've both seen plenty of times before, but just never went inside, because why would we? <laughs> <laughs> why would we? All right, here we go. Okay, we are in... Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, we're... Yeah, this is a really big lift. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what are those noises? We found the tunnel, guys. Wow. I wonder what it leads to. <laughs> oh, so, wait, we're going underwater? <gasps> Sam, don't say that. <laughs> what? Wait, we're underwater? <laughs> this is Wait, creepy. Listen, can you hear the noises? It literally sounds like we're in a horror movie. <laughs> oh, because it's a space. This is an exhibition. No, Come on. Not. Yes, it is. I promise. Those are not. Those are not real Wait, sounds. The Look, sounds. the space. See, <laughs> Sam got me thinking it's some aliens <laughs> out here. <or> something. <laughs> is this y'all? The space below sound installation. It does sound crazy though. Oh. Where? That goes upstairs. I think it's a lie. I think it actually is one. <laughs> <laughs> the things Sam and I do to get a good Instagram photo. Y'all should see. Every time. We get a free moment right here. Someone runs to get their photo taken. And also, we're not forgetting about all the weird ass noises that are going Yeah, the noise. You see some of my photos. Yeah. I can't put them on Instagram. Yeah, her <laughs> face <laughs> is so funny because it sounds like, I don't even know, a dying animal or something. Mm -hmm. Y'all, this is one of the most bizarre things that I've experienced in London. For real. It's. This is why we ain't never been down here. Exactly, but there is, okay, there is some noise or sound installation going on right now. <laughs> it's great. Hey, now, it so, now it sounds like farm animals. Before it sounded like someone was being tortured, <laughs> like they were screaming. <laughs> okay, when we get to our next destination, I'm definitely Googling what is going on in the Greenwich Tunnel because I need to know. I absolutely need to know. But cool experience, and we got some cool photos. Worth it? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently this is what's going on, so. Human noise pollution. Go to this website to figure out what those noises were. Yeah, but That's it, what I'll do. Like? No, they're fake noises, I guess. Human noise pollution in our sonic seas. Yeah. Weird.
Okay guys, so we survived the tunnel and now we're about to head to Goddard's. Just survived. Just barely survived the tunnel. <laughs> and now we're about to head to Goddard's. Do you think I'm saying it right? That seems right. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know where we're going. Okay, so yeah, we're going to a restaurant that is famous for pie and mash. I've heard mixed reviews about it, but apparently it is a traditional food. Have you ever had it before? Pie and mash? Yeah. Yeah. Do you I like mean, it? It's not really my, <laughs> my go-to. Um, I had it when I was probably a little younger. Right, because it's really, really traditional, like older type of thing, right? Yeah, and I'm not really your traditional British person. You aren't. You aren't. That's fair. That's fair. Depends on the pie. But see, to me, to me, pie would not be uh, savory. Pie is always sweet, but here, pie could nah, be. No, nah, pie is sweet. I mean, savory here. Um, well, so like, you eat like an apple pie or a cherry? No, pie? I don't like apple pie. I actually don't like sweet pies. I'm more <gasps> of a um, like I like a chicken and asparagus pie. A lot Girl, of people the like. The only pie I know that is savory at home is like a chicken pot pie. You ever heard of that? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's all I know. And I, I, that's the only thing I would call a pie, but here I've heard whenever you guys refer to pies, it's like what you're saying, like it's, a savory. It is savory. Like, obviously we have sweet ones as well, but I don't know. Oh, this well, is I'm gonna have a savory one today. Found it, guys. Established in 1890. It's a family-run business. Traditional pie mash with eels. Uh, eels? Excuse me. These are the options. Five choices of pie mash for five pounds each. And it includes a cup of tea. How British! It includes a cup of tea. Oh, what's a rosy lead tea, Sam? She don't know. Sam, not British for real, y'all. What are you good for? I bring a British person with me. She doesn't know anything. <laughs> so, a lot of you guys may know, I'm not really a big beef eater. And even though the traditional minced beef is the, like the, the known thing, I think I might go with the chicken option just because I feel like it won't be as fair if I eat the beef one because I'm not going to like it really anyway. So I think I should try chicken because it has a better chance of like being something that I like. So I'm just trying to think, should I try eel? I'm like, how am I going to say I don't eat beef, but I'll try eel. Mm -mm. <laughs> we ain't here for no eel. <laughs> Sam saying don't get eel, but I feel mm -mm. like, should I just, <laughs> am I feeling, you know, Eely. risky? <laughs> um, yeah, she's making it mm -hmm. We'll be back in a second. It's so precious. <laughs> like, if you want to know what British is, this even smells British. I can't tell you what British smells like, but it's like this. I'm scared of the Oh, you can get a student discount. I got my student ID with me too. Any meal and drink for so time. Hmm. Okay guys, so I went with the chicken and mushroom with mash and gravy. It actually looks good. I think I might like it. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> okay guys, so the last time I did a video of me trying some food, I think it was the uh, full English breakfast. So many of you guys had complaints about the way I use my cutlery and that Americans don't know how to use cutlery. So this is a disclaimer. I don't know how to use cutlery. So please spare me the comments. Because <laughs> I guess basically like I'll cut and then I switch and then I eat. But I think that's not a thing here. Okay, yeah, we don't switch. We just. I always switch. So you mean, go you look at the way you're holding your fork. <laughs> Girl, you don't cut with your fork. You don't. How? You gotta hold it down. Yeah, you gotta hold it down and then cut. Like, yeah, that's right. That's what I was getting to. I was about to do it. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I actually do suck at this color. Okay. <laughs> this is just funny to watch. <laughs> 
me take my coat off. Hey, comfy girl. First time my birthday. <laughs> it smells good. Uh, chocolate sponge is ice cream, sticky top custard. You gotta eat it with the mash. Sorry, this is good. Oh, you have the two balls of ice cream. I've done this one. Oh my god. This is not bad at all. You guys, I am so surprised. I didn't have it. Yeah, I was gonna say, get it together. Yes, sis. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know what else to say. Hmm. First time we have a traditional pie mash, and it's a success. Another American first. You guys, like I honestly expected to come here and like have one bite and leave, but I have already eaten like that food late, so I'm gonna stop now. But yeah, I mean, I would have say something that I would like crave or want to come back and eat it again, necessarily, like I probably will never have this again in my life, but it surprised me and it was actually not bad, so yeah. I know I didn't get the beef one, the traditional, but I think this is close enough and I would say I can check this off my British to-do list. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye.